Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode we checked out this um, dope excavation site in London or in, in St. Albans. And um, we got to this location by by finding this this map that Sir Rodney or Sir Roderick had on his person or in his clothes when he died. And now we have found a fresco of the Frigidarium at the Strand Lane Bath in there. So now we're going to go here, going to tell someone to clear that area, and then we're going to go into the Frigidarium, find out what's going on. We found numerous interesting things over there. We have a crossbow, we have a couple of hooks, we have Neptune and Minerva statue, and all of those things are things I have to do something with. But first I probably have to do some deduc deductions, huh? Uh, nope, that's exactly what we had previously. Nothing is going to come out of that. Mr. Holmes, we've cleared the corridor to the Frigidarium. You can visit it now. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Nice. Frigidarium. Uh, Mr. Holmes, you can visit the Frigidarium. I will visit the Frigidarium. Wow! Dope work! I mean, I don't know where that debris came from. Like, that was a lot of debris. Where'd that come from? Where'd you put that? What? How'd you do this so... Alright, it's a video game, Eric. Whoa. Sick dude. Perhaps I could find some clues by activating the flagstones. The flagstones. Well, before we push that, well, fine. A spider. Well, that's a pretty cute spider, considering it's a spider. What do we have here? Nothing. Oh, whole bunch of nothing. Wow, look at all that nothing. Wow, I ain't seen that guy before. Mm, no clue is that supposed to be. Hello, Jug. I would have called it a pot, but that's okay. A trident. Push that. Why is that pushable? I wonder. These are... You know what I'm reminded of? In The Witcher 2, wasn't there a strange scene in a bath like this? I mean, honestly, if we're talking about The Witcher, it's going to be a, a a pornographic scene, like kind of, but but still, there was an area like this too. That's what I'm reminded of right now. I did play that game, although I did not let's play it. Because I kind of like that game. Alright, enough talk about that. That's what I'm reminded of right now. What did you call that? Wreath. Never heard that word before, and probably never will again. One-eyed face. Hey you, Mr. Cyclops. And a ship. It should have been the last one. Alright, let's push that again. Cause we're just gonna have wait, helmet is Minerva. So we have Minerva, we have the Cyclops, we did not find a spider. Did not find a pot. I did find Neptune. That's the trident. Caducius. Oh shit, dude. I missed this. 
This is a Caducius? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You know, in my Let's Play of Adrian Odyssey, um, there's this move that the healer can do. It's called Kakukius. But it's not Kakukius now, is it? It's a bashing move with a staff. Well, that was actually Kadukius, wasn't it? Wasn't it? All right, let's push the spider again. And the jug. I didn't get every every last one of them. I didn't. Sorry, I thought we'd we were only supposed to push a certain amount. That should have been the last one. Okay, I'm gonna walk around slowly here. No, we're gonna run around slowly. The ship is done. One-eyed face is done. Wreath is done. There's nothing. Scorpion is done. There's no statue on the Scorpion. It's nothing. Kadukius is done. Trident is done. Jug is done, although there is no statue here. Spider is done. What did he say about the flagstones? We have a trident, we have a helmet, we have Fresco Vulcan. Mithraic Mysteries. A book about Mithraic Mysteries and the Cult of Mithras. And we have that too. And the weapon shape. Let's push an only helmet. <clears throat> like I said, let's push an only trident helmet and the Cyclops. Because so far nothing is happening. I know this is kind of painful just because of that animation that is not skippable by the way. That's the trident. This is Caducius. Then we have the Scorpion. I don't even remember pushing the Scorpion in. I don't know what I was talking about at that point. Wreath. Must have been talking about something. And that's the one-eyed face, and the ship also has to be unpushed. We done? What the heck, dude? Spider is unpushed. Jug is unpushed. Trident is unpushed. Uh, uh, Trident is pushed. Scorpion is pushed. <sighs> Next guess only push the ones with statues in front of them. But. But why? No, actually the next one is push everyone, so only the helmet, trident, and the and the one-eyed face are unpushed, but that's also not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna end up with pushing this one for the moment because there's a statue in front of it. Back there was nothing behind it. That doesn't do anything. Fear. Then we're pushing every last one of them again. Every last one of them. And after that I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to do something else.
I mean, I was able to make that connection from the excavation site with Minerva and the helmet symbol, the trident, we got the Cyclops, but but none of the other symbols. But still, this is painful. This is just... These are not fun switches. They aren't. They aren't. And the solution was not to push them all. Push you. Only leave three unpushed. So now we should be at the point where Cyclops is unpushed. Helmet is unpushed. Trident is unpushed. Uh, let's do th something else first. <clears throat> Don't want to be stuck with this for the entire time. I first want to read about the Mithraic whatever. I want to read about that first and look at that co strange shape. Let's go to Baker Street. Geez, that look, took like 10 minutes and I didn't achieve anything. I achieved nothing. No thing. Alright, let's put that puzzle to, to like together first. First to this. There are twelve pieces here. Let's try to gather them. Rotate and swap mobile pieces depending on their shape to position them in accordance to each other. What? Er, burr, burr, burr. Verify. What? What's that mean? This one. Rotate. Like this. No, like this. Yes. And then switch with this one. Um, afterward, we have... I will count this piece as a starting point. Uh, ah, this one as a starting point. Fear. Well, this one wor works down here is what I wanted to say. If we know it doesn't verify. What does verify mean? Hold Q for vertical. Hmm. So at the bottom we only want... No, no, it's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. We only want... Come on. Rotate all. You got to be rotated so this corner is out here. This way. Perfect. Deselect. I want you not down there. I want... I want you down here. Rotate you to this side. Deselect. And look at that again. Looking better. No. No, that's wrong. I mean, these add up. But these are wrong. Can I rotate I that? I will count this piece as a starting point. You're being finicky. 
That one is, ah, that's not a pointy one either. So this one is pr no, it's not. Right, this one back there is looking pretty good. Is this what I'm looking for? No. So we want one that's rectangular on the right and rectangular on the bottom. Look one like that. This one seems fitting for that. So if we wait, no it's not. We we I mean it's rectangular on the right and rectangular on the bottom, but we need a rectangular uh uh Englishman. Oh. Right, I can't do that. So you want to be rotated like this and not be at the top. Not like that at all. Could go like that into the back and then you have that there. You don't want to could use it. Yeah, you could be at the bottom. You are not good for that. I'm sorry, this puzzle's probably not the most interesting to watch at all. I wish I could play around with these cubes in real life, but I can't. He's got this damn shape, and now I have to do this in my head, which sucks. Oh, I didn't want to deselect that was... Let's just rotate a bunch. Just rotate. You see them rotate. That one's good for the bottom. That one's good for the bottom. That one is not. That one's good for the bottom. Select, do it like this, put you down there. Solve this bottom issue. What's going on? What what do we got? I want good vision. Want good vision. There's a triangular fitting, there's a triangular part there. There's a rectangular one, there's this fitting. And then there is Is it that? No. Gotta turn you around like that to make this easier for myself. The starting point wants that, so we gotta find the one who fits there. Could even be this one. No, it couldn't. Could be that one. It is that one. So that's good. Those two fit. Those two fit. So now we want, what do we want in there? Is that the, that's the, the, I don't know what that shape, shape is called. That's that one. No, it's not. This one. Right there. That doesn't, well, that's fitting there. That's uh, perfect. We can verify those, those work. Now we want, which are at the top? This one is top level. And then the tops are already done. We want this one here. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Then we want this one up front. Then we want, of course they are, why wouldn't they be? This one here, 
Turn that around a little bit. Turn you around. Done. Turn you around. That layer is done. Then what do I want there? I want a fitting. I want... Let's do this one first. You go there. Like that. Does it work? Yes. Then what do you want there? That's a, a rectangular or a... Not a rectangular at all. That's that shape. It fits like that. Yes. Then you have that. And then we're done. What? Ah, come on. Turn around a little bit. It is a mold, and it is ready for casting. <sighs> the mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. That's about half a glass of water. Now, turn that around a little bit. Yay! Could make a cake, or we could put that into the casting mold. Now, let us see what we have here. Floop! A sacrificial dagger for sacrificing bowls. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. Elementary. This is the achievement I just got. Alright. And we found the map. Find the murder weapon completed. Uh, mold form and inside brazier. Strange wound. Possible silver weapon. The mold was used to create the murder weapon. Create a silver knife. Cre check if we can create a silver knife with the materials found. Let's do that. We got a silver coin. That's probably enough for a knife, right? Right, though? Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. Never mind, we got a silver lump. Put that in there. Turn up the heat. To melt the silver with my gas burner. Done. Now I can proceed further. That was not a minute. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. Done. Done. Now I can proceed further. You could have saved some energy by turning off the gas during oh, fine. Look at you, beautiful. Why are you so shiny? That does not make any darn sense. Like, if you melted silver right there, put it in a mold, it is not this shiny. Dude, there's oxygen like everywhere. It would be a friggin. <sighs> silver knife. Excellent. We have created a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir Rodney. It was extremely clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. And also... That thing is not sharp right now. Uh, silver knife and inside brazier. Silver weapon? The silver weapon was used and then destroyed in the brazier after the crime. Steam moisture. Or unexplained clue. No. What? Unexplained clue? Or steam moisture. Why is that? That looks weird. Method. The silver knife. The murderer hit the weapon in the clouded steam room. He then placed the knife in the brazier in order to destroy it, which resulted in the melted silver that we found. Makes sense. Makes sense. 
Now I want to do some research, but that's not happening in this episode. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.